Hello and welcome! This is Roofmonger, my friends. Another week has gone by, which means we have another trailer for The King of Fighters 15. And for today's trailer, we have series stalwart Joe Higashi returning to the ring, the Muay Thai champion himself. Now, as is tradition now, I guess, before we get to the actual trailer breakdown, I do want to break down just who is Joe Higashi anyways. There are a lot of people who are looking forward to King of Fighters 15 that are brand new to the franchise and don't know every single character, so let's talk about Joe. First up, what kind of character is Joe? Well, in his own words, he thinks he's something like this. And that's a pretty heavy statement to lay down, right? But in reality, he's a little bit more something like this. I think Butthead is a very, very apt way to describe him. Now, it's not to say he's a joke comedy weak character like, say, Dan Hibiki in Street Fighter. He's legitimately a super talented martial artist. So on that, yes, once again, he is a Muay Thai character. Uh, he spent most of his time in Thailand, although technically he is a Japanese national. He has had a very long history in the King of Fighters franchise, although technically he is from the Fatal Fury franchise originally. That's where characters like Terry Bogard are from. And in the King of Fighters games, he is usually paired with Terry Bogard and his brother, Andy Bogard. But yeah, overall, in the end, super carefree character, uh, very prone to mooning people in matches, which I don't know if that's going to survive in the KOF 15. But yeah, once again, long story short here, he's a Muay Thai master who's definitely not self-serious. Let's put it that way. Sagat, he is not. Now, just to go over just some of his general gameplay over the years. One thing about Joe, very fast hands. Hands so fast, he punches the air and a hurricane, a tornado comes through and he can shoot multiple tornadoes at once. Joe's a character where he has a better than average special move set and tornadoes are a big part of it as they're not necessarily hard zoning tools, but they just eat up a lot of real estate. And uh, like say the light tornado is usually slow enough where you can follow after it. If you tried to roll the projectile, then you might be in trouble. Besides that, he usually traditionally has a mash punch special Maybe not as universally applicable as, say, like, E-Honda 100 Hand Slap, but it's still pretty good. Also, a wide variety of kicking and knee attacks, because, hey, it's Muay Thai, and you've seen some of these attacks in other games as well. Like, you know, say you're a fan of Street Fighter, you might have seen, you know, something like this before. You know, perhaps a tiger-ish knee? Supers-wise, he does have a lot of the usual KOF Rush-style supers, and just a heck of a lot of tornadoes as well, uh, including his level 3 super, where it's just... He really rips India and lets you have it pretty bad. Now on to the trailer breakdown here. First up, yo, where can I buy these shorts? Cause they're sick. So Joe has a whole new look yet again. Yeah, he's got the Muay Thai look, but this is different from anything he's ever had before. Now onto this little sequence here, we have Stan Heavy Kick. It's always traditionally been a pretty decent normal, pretty decent range. From that point, we get Crouch Heavy Kick, his sweep. And then going onwards from that, we get his back throw. It's in the back and just gives you the boot right in the butt. And his forward throw, which is a bunch of Muay Thai style knees before tossing you away. And we also get a look at his taunt, which is honestly a lot more respectful than Joe usually is. Now we got this guy here. This is a classic for Joe. It's a very important move. This is his down forward diagonal light kick. And it effectively works as a slide. So he's lower to the ground, harder to hit low profile, all that kind of stuff. And it can knock you down in this version of the game. Here we see that two of his most important special moves are returning. The golden heel, that is the flipping kick, and his tornado. Both are just very core to the character and very important. So hey, the classics are indeed returning. We know now that in King of Fighters 15, you can EX on demand, unlike King of Fighters 14, and that'll be great effect for Joe because you can shoot up three projectiles at once. So if you just really want to win that fireball war, you can pretty much do it on demand. And hey, trailer, thank you very much for letting us know that yes, the startup on his EX knee is indeed super invincible. We get a nice little win pose here. Joe loves to celebrate. And these guys, so as we can see in the startup, they have red flashes as opposed to the blue flashes some other supers have. So once again, as we talked earlier in a previous video, I do believe these are the level two supers. So many supers have, you know, the regular version, one bar. And then if you hit, you know, multiple buttons, then they'll have a level two version and the X version, whatever you want to call it. And this version will be much more visually impressive and do more damage. 
From that point, we see a very basic hit confirm combo, so this will be close fierce kick into Joe's command normal into the EX knee. And our next basic hit confirm combo here is close heavy kick into two of Joe's command normals. Uh, he has both forward and backwards light kick and at least he can find this 14 and they chain into each other into the slash kick. Our next combo is a little more multifaceted here as we get EX machine gun punch from close heavy punch and it does indeed launch. He steps forward using the command normal kick and then goes into EX knee. And we keep getting more advanced here. So we start off here with a close heavy kick using both of our command normal kicks to help confirm the combo into EX machine gun punch. We get a launcher from that, follows up using slash kick, that's a special, and then special canceling the slash kick into his level two rush super. And once again, rush supers being the KOF classic, we just kind of rush forward and just beat the crap out of you. In Mortal Kombat, these would be like brutalities if you want to go by like Mortal Kombat trilogy or something. Here, we just hit you a bunch. And in our final sequence here, so once again, the usual hit confirm stuff we've been seeing into a level one super into his level three super. So yes, as we've gone over in previous trailers, level one into your level three, that's climax canceling, and yet we can totally do it. So this is another combo that would uh, nominally be dumping all five bars with an EX into a level one and then going into your level three. So now going into this though, the meter system is definitely going to be a real mystery as we've seen in previous trailers spending six bars, which traditionally KOF goes up to five maximum, right? So there's definitely stuff up with this and I'm sure more will be revealed in time, but we just kind of have to wait and see, unfortunately. And that is the Joe trailer. Now it didn't really teach us anything we didn't know already mechanics wise. But considering we're in for like 50 plus characters, I don't think we can really keep up that pace learning new mechanics every single week, but it just gives us more confirmation of some stuff we already know and some new hints. The big thing here is, as we had the original first three trailers of Mintenkun, Shune, and Benny Maru, and they are Team Hero, and then going from Iori to Joe, that means Iori and Joe are on the same team? Now, just to clear up in case you're not aware, teams are like purely lore, right? You can pick any characters together you want. You are not locked into any team, right? But from the lore perspective, Joe and Iori are like as far apart as anyone could ever possibly think. Iori, whenever he's around, is usually tied to the plot in at least, you know, some kind of major way, even if he's not the main focus. And Joe's the happy to be here kind of character, right? He barely has much going on in the plot. These kind of characters, I could never imagine them together, so I guess we'll see. And now the real question is, who's the next trailer, right? Because what a weird team this is, and who's going to round it out? And also, unfortunately for me, anyways, uh, Joe means probably no Vice. Uh, Vice is my favorite King of Fighters character, and she's always traditionally been with Iori. So now, hey, who knows? Uh, Vice and Mature actually used to originally be linked with Rugal before the whole Iori thing, so maybe Rugal comes back and that's where they're going. I legitimately have no idea now. If Iori and Joe are on the same team, I cannot even predict this anymore because this is the craziest thing. But anyways, my friends, that is the end of this video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has found you well, and hey, maybe go out and play some King of Fighters.